Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm giving you another wrist hinge drill. So this one is a pretty cool drill. You can be doing this out at the range, at the course. You can even do this at home. That would be a great place to practice because, you know, a lot of people can't get out here that much. So if you can be doing this drill, you'll learn the wrist hinge and then you know, you're gonna hit the ball a lot longer and a lot straighter. All right, hopefully you enjoy this tip. If so, give me a thumbs up, click on the button to subscribe to my channel, then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips. And please tell all your friends about my tips. There's a lot of other people that need help too. So this is another one of my favorite drills here to get you to work on your wrist hinge. So throughout your golf swing, your wrists are going to hinge, then they're gonna re-hinge. A hinge in life is loose. Think about the hinges on a door, okay? You open and close the door, there's no resistance. That's how loose I want your wrists in your golf swing. Looser your wrists, faster the golf club is going to swing. If the golf club is swinging faster, you don't have to swing as hard. If you lock all this up, you really have to put a lot into it to generate any kind of club head speed. All right, so, and I know there's different teachers that teach different things. That is just not what I teach. I'm teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. And that's what I've taught since 1991. So I need your wrists really loose to do that. Now, don't get me wrong. This isn't you letting go, okay? That's where a lot of people go wrong. They let go because that gives them a false sense of loose. I am not doing that. I am loose in my wrists. I'm holding on secure with my grip. So once I take it back, by the time I hit the top, I am eight out of 10 right here, but my wrists are loose. See right here, I'm not letting go of the club. So I see people let go here and then they let go here and they think that that's loose wrists, but that isn't doing anything to loosen your wrists. What that's doing is that's making you hit more with your arms because you go like this and let go. What's your first move gonna be? You're gonna grab back on. And now you just locked everything up again. So this drill allows you to loosen your wrists. All right, now to do that, you're probably gonna need a pretty neutral grip. Okay, so I've got another tip. I show you step by step by step how to do the neutral grip from my perspective. Show you exactly how to put your hands on. I'm saying that because if your grip is strong and your wrists are loose, as loose as I want them. You will hook every single shot. So now you need another flaw or a compensation in your swing to get the ball to not hook. You know, it's very difficult if you have flaws or compensations in your swing to be consistent. You have to be out here all the time practicing. And who's got time for that? You got time to come out here and hit three to 500 balls a day? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> so, <laughs> Neutral grip, all right? So we got our grip on, just like this. We're in a two knuckle position, fingers, we wrap it on top, face is square. Now, instead of hinging here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start sliding down till our index finger of the bottom hand touches the shaft of the club. That's how much down I want you to grip. So right here, we're holding the club off the ground now this much right here. Okay, so if I went like this right here, I'm gonna grip down and now I need to hold it off the ground that much. I'm not gonna go down like this. I'm holding it in the air. All right, now why we're doing that is so that you have an indicator right here. You're using the butt of the club as an indicator. I'm starting like this. Now, right here, I'm gonna take the butt of the golf club and I'm gonna point the butt of the club at the ground right here. Now, if I do this right, I can actually see the butt of the golf club. Okay, so let me do it from here. So right here, see, I can see the butt right there. Now, if you went like this, 
can't see the butt of the club, you know, too high, and the butt's up there. I, I'm right here, like about three quarters, right there. Okay, you can see the butt of the club, right there. Okay, you don't want to be too steep. You want to be right here, boom, right there. I see it. Lead arm is extended. Now, what I'm going to do from there, that's a hinged position. And keep in mind, this is just a drill to unlock your wrist. I don't want you here, you know, in reality, I don't want you to hinge your wrist, you know, right away. Oh, I'm going to, you know, not in the, this is just a drill to get you to unlock your wrists. So right here, I'm going to point the butt at the ground. I'm looking at it right there. Now, I'm going to swing through, and now I see it right there. So I see it there. And I see it there. See, this arm is extended now, but is right here. Now, if you went like this, kind of came way over the top, you wouldn't see the butt of the club. You went like that, the butt of the club would be over there. So we're kind of using the target line here, but, 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 right there, okay? So, of course, I have shown this to many thousands of people over the years. And, you know, they take the club back too far. So that's one problem. Other problems, people let go. So don't do that. Other problems, <laughs> or uh, another big problem, you know, I tell them to watch the club, and they don't watch the club. That's the whole point. That's why we're gripping down. We're watching the butt of the club. Right here. There it is, right there. Now, see my head switches over here. I'm watching it there and there, there and there. The only way you're going to do that is if your wrists are loose. So if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say I need your wrists loose, that right there is going to give you the exact feeling because you can't do it if your wrists are tight. You know, so many people are locked up here so they don't hinge here. Chicken wing. You do a chicken wing, you are never going to see the butt of that golf club. Only way you can do it is if you rehinge on this side. All right, so that's kind of one part to it. Then, to build up a little speed, what I want you to do is focus on the butt of the golf club to the belly button relationship. All right, so here's what I'm getting at right here. So we're gripping down again. The butt of the club is at the belly button. We're not going to go like this and then keep it at the belly button. Okay? It's going to go away. It's going to point at it again. And then it's going to go away. So it's only at the belly button for like a millisecond. Because it's hinging and then it's rehinging. See, right there, it's away. Now it points at it and then it points away. So right here, I'll do it one-handed. So like that, see? It's only at the belly button for a millisecond. Again, we don't want to do this, okay? I'm trying to get your wrists unlocked. I'm trying to get you the feeling of hinging and re-hinging. Looser the wrists, the more club head speed. More club head speed, you don't have to swing out of your shoes to hit the ball a long way. And that's the point. I'm trying to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. You're swinging, you know, all locked up and out of your shoes. Yeah, you're going to hit it nowhere. And you're probably going to hurt yourself. So we get the speed because the wrists are loose. So this little grip down drill is perfect for just doing that. You can do it out here at the course. Okay, at the range. When you play, oh, there's the looseness in my wrist. You just keep doing it back and forth. Remember to not let go. Back and forth. Butt of the club, butt of the club. Butt, 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 butt. Okay, you need it to not keep pointing at your belt buck or your belly button. Okay, you can do that when you play. You can do that at home. Why not do that while you're watching TV? You're watching TV, you actually stand up, grab a golf club, and just sit there. You're watching TV and you just keep doing this. But, but, over and over, thousands and thousands and thousands of times, 
because you're just watching TV anyway. Commercial comes on, take a break. Grab the club. When the show comes back on, you're watching your show. You just sit there. But, but, and you just keep doing it every night, over and over and over and over. Well, pretty soon, you're gonna loosen up your wrists. Then, <laughs> you're gonna see how much of an effect that has on your golf swing. No joke, you get those wrists loosened up, you will hit the ball longer, more pure, and better than you ever have in your life. You need the wrists loose, all right? That's what's gonna give us that club head speed. So make sure you do that drill. Like, you've gotta have that as one of your favorite drills, and you just keep doing it as much as you can, all right? You'll see what happens into the future. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my Body Swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.